Push, Kylie! Push! I'm pushing! Ah! It's another girl! Renegade! Renegade! Huh, Clark? What in the world is a renegade? Why is our baby saying that? Oh, kids these days in their internet lingo. Have you guys decided on a name yet? Yes, Doctor Sir. We're gonna name her Marley. We're gonna be best friends forever and ever, little sis. Not everything is about you, Trixie. Now go wait in the car. Oh, man. Okay. Marley, come on, honey. Let's go. We don't want to be late for your dance competition. Coming, Mom. Hey, Mom, can I come to the dance competition too? Ha, ha, ha. You want to go on stage and dance? My grandma is more flexible than you. Stay home and do chores, Trixie. Mom, can Trixie come, please? I want my sister there to support me. Well, honey, if Marley wants her there, then I guess if it makes our favorite daughter happy, then Trixie can come. But Trixie, you're not allowed sitting with us because we don't want to be seen in public with you. It's just embarrassing for us. Oh, okay, yeah, I can just uh, stand in the back then. Oh, and also, Trixie, you have to walk to the competition. What? Why, Mom? Uh, well, if you have to be that nosy, we're saving a seat for the trophy that Marley is going to win. Oh, okay, uh, I guess I'll just start walking then. Huh, it sucks that I have to walk to the competition. I hope I get there before Marley dances. Ticket, please. Uh, well, I don't have a ticket, but my family's in there and my sister's competing. Sorry, ma'am. No ticket, no entry. You can wait out here. Oh, man, I really want to see my sister dance. One hour later. Why weren't you in there supporting Marley? I wanted to, but I didn't have a... You're the reason why Marley only got second place. She wanted you to be there and you didn't show up. I'm so disappointed in you, Trixie. You failed our family once again. But what else is new? <laughs> Don't listen to them, Trixie. You're not the reason why I didn't win. I messed up my routine a little bit, and that's not your fault. Aw, thanks, sis. I just wish Mom and Dad appreciated me a little more. Come on, I'll see if I can get Mom and Dad to stop at Dunkin' Donuts. What do you want? Oh, yay! Okay, I'll have a donut and chocolate milk. Okay, come on! Hey, Mom and Dad, can we stop at Dunkin' on the way home? It would really cheer me up. Of course we can, Trixie! Anything for you! Come on, Clark, take our little girl to Dunkin'! Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts! What can I get for you? Could I get a... Um, what do you think you're doing, Trixie? Oh, uh, I was just gonna order some food because I'm hungry. You don't deserve to eat anything after what you did to your sister today. Marley, what would you like to order? Don't worry, sis, I got you. Hey, uh, can I order a donut and chocolate milk, please? Huh, Marley, that's not your usual order. Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to try something new today. Donut and chocolate milk coming up. Here you go. Yay, thank you. All right, you have a lot of chores to do when we get home, Trixie. Yes, Mom, I'll finish them right away. Here's your donut and chocolate milk, Trixie. Aw, you're so sweet. I'm so glad I have a sister like you, at least. Mmm. Delicious. I don't know why mom and dad hate me so much. It's okay. I'll always be here for you, sis. Thanks, Marley. You're the best. Marley, Marley! Hey, what's up, guys? Marley, did you hear about this new app called TikTok? People are blowing up like overnight on it. We should totally make some videos. Oh my gosh, we totally should. That sounds like so much fun. Hey, guys, what are you talking about? Oh, it's just this new app called TikTok. We're gonna make some videos right now. Oh, that's so cool. Can I be in them? Uh, we were gonna dance in them, and no offense, Trixie, but like you suck at dancing, and that would really ruin our chances of going viral if you were in it. But like, since you're Marley's sister, I guess you could hold the camera and film us. Here, you can use my phone to film. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I can film you guys. All right, are you guys ready? Ready! Okay, three, two, one, go! Wow, that was really cool. Here you go. Okay, I'm gonna post it right now. Yay, school's over! All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come on, Trixie, let's go home. Later that night. Hmm, this new app TikTok is so much fun. I've been literally scrolling on it all day. It's like my For You page knows exactly what I want to see. Hmm, maybe I should make some videos by myself. Let me go ask Trixie if she can come film me. Hey, Trixie, I'm going to film some more TikToks. Do you think you can come upstairs and film me? Yeah, sure I can. Yay, come on, let's go. So there's like this song right now that is blowing up and it's called The Renegade. Maybe if I use this song, then my video will blow up too. 
Whoa, Marley, you're like so good at dancing. I wish I was good at something. Then maybe mom and dad would like me. Aw, uh, don't say that, Trixie. You're good at a lot of things. You just haven't found your passion yet. Okay, I'm going to go post this TikTok. Eee, wish me good luck, sis. Good luck, girl. You got this. The next morning. Oh, my gosh, Marley, you went viral overnight. You gained like 10 million followers. Wait, what? I did? You better not be lying to me. I'm not, Marles. Look at this. Give me that. Marley, quick, come downstairs. You're on the news. <gasps> the news? Come on, let's go. Quick, look, it's about to come on. Uh, Trixie, I didn't invite you here. Go take out the trash, and while you're at it, go take yourself out with it. Oh, okay. This just in, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new internet star right here in our very own Brookhaven. Marley Camellio posted a short clip last night of her doing a dance to the Renegade song. And overnight, the video has gone viral. She has gained over 10 million followers. Wait, what was that? She's at 20 million already? Well, never mind, folks. She's already at 20 million followers. Little girls around the world have started doing the Renegade as well. Marley has inspired a whole generation of children looking to become the next viral sensation. Let's go live with my colleague, Rachel, who is outside the Camellio family home right now. Thank you, Laura. I'm standing here right now outside of Marley's home. Let's go knock right now and see if she's there. Marley, Marley. Marley, how does it feel to have become the most popular 15-year-old in the whole world overnight? Um, I honestly just woke up. And I haven't really processed this whole thing yet. I really don't know how this whole thing happened to me. All I did was dance. I've been a dancer my whole life, so this wasn't anything special. I don't know, I'm speechless. You heard it right here, folks. Marley Camellio is speechless. Now back to you at the studio, Laura. Wow, when I get home tonight, I'm gonna make my kids download TikTok and make them start doing some silly dances. And then maybe I can finally quit this job. This is Laura with Brookhaven News signing off. Wow, Marley, this is amazing. Your father and I will be your manager. We're all gonna be filthy rich! Marley, I just got off the phone with Ramis from the Hype House! They want you to be there right now! Looks like we're moving to LA! Wait, but I don't want to move to LA! I want to stay here with all my friends! Marley, you're too young to know any better. Your friends will still be here when you're rich and famous! And come on, you'll make new friends at the Hype House! Marley, come on, pack your bags! We're moving to LA! Wait, guys, was that just the news lady? Trixie, go away. I'll only go to the Hype House if Trixie can come too. Ew, why would you want your talentless, useless sister to come with you? She's not talentless and she's a great sister to me. Ugh, whatever. We don't have time for this. We got money to make. If bringing Trixie along will get you into that Hype House, then sure, bring her along. Come on, now we can't miss our flight. Whoa, well, I can't believe we're going to LA. Whee! your style. Oh, okay. Oh, the seat's so uncomfortable. I wish I was in the fancy chairs. Moments later. I wish we could just leave you in here, but we're here now. Here it is, Marley. This is the hype house. Okay, Marley, go in there and make some friends. Trixie, just try to stay out of the way, okay? You do more harm than good. Your father will come pick up you girls later. Bye. All right, come on. Let's go, Marley. You must be Marley. We are big fans. I'm Madison, and this is Romas and Lil Muddy. Psst, FYI, Marley, the fans are already shipping you and Lil Muddy. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to meet you guys. I've seen all your videos on TikTok. Uh, who's the chick behind you, Marley? Oh, that's my sister, Trixie. Oh, does it do anything? Um, not really. I'm just Marley's sister, that's all. I sometimes film her TikToks for her. Boring! Come on, Marley, let's ditch this loser, Trixie. Come film some TikToks with us. Later that night. Marley, we're taking you to an audition tomorrow. All the biggest talent agents in the world are going to be there. Now, you better be on your best behavior because if you get signed by one of them, then we will become millionaires. Now, I want you to practice your renegade tonight, okay? Yes, Mom, I will. Trixie, come up here right now. What, Mom? What's up? Now that our house is ten times bigger than our old house, that means you get ten times the amount of chores that
thing you used to have. Start here and mop your sister's floor. Don't distract her, though, okay? She needs to focus so she can make us a lot of money. <sighs> okay, fine. Hey, big sis. Mom and dad are putting so much pressure on me. They never even asked if I wanted to do all of this. Well, do you want to do this? It's kind of cool, but it's just all happening so fast. Part of me just wants to be a normal kid and hang out with my friends from back home again. Hey, well, don't worry. I'll always be here when you need me, girl. The next day. All right, Marley, our family's fortune depends on you right now. Don't blow it. Okay, I'll do my best. You got this, sis. So, uh, today I'll be doing a dance for you guys. <laughs> I've seen that same dance on the internet thousands of times now. Do you do anything other than dance? Other than dance? No, sir. Dance is the only thing I know how to do. Uh, okay. Uh, have a seat. Are there any more auditions for today? All right, Trixie. This is your time to shine. Trixie, what are you doing up there? Get off the stage. You're gonna embarrass our family. Trixie, do you know how damaging this could be for Marley's reputation? If your audition becomes a meme, Marley's life will be ruined. You got this, sis. Mom, Dad, I'm tired of you guys disrespecting me and treating me like dirt. This is my chance to show the world that I'm more than just Marley's sister. All right, let's see what you got. Sometimes I don't want to be happy. Oh my gosh, oh Lord, the media, we have a star on our hands. How would you like to be signed to the biggest talent agency in the world? Oh my gosh, is this real life? I would love to. Amazing, here's a big bag of money. And there will be plenty more where that came from. You are gonna be a superstar. Oh my gosh, Trixie, your father and I are so proud of you. We've always known that you were gonna be the star of our family. Yeah, that's why your mother and I have been so hard on you over the years. We believe that making you do all those chores, it turned you into a hard worker. And look at you now. You're gonna be a superstar. Nice try, guys. But don't try to pretend to appreciate me right when something good in my life happens. I will not be giving you two a single penny of the money. And a matter of fact, I'm moving out. Fine. Be that way, Trixie. Your father and I don't need you anyways. We still have our star, Marley, and she is still the most famous TikToker. Yeah, you're making a huge mistake leaving us, Trixie. You're gonna regret this, you selfish little brat. Come on, Marley. Let's go home. You have TikToks to make. Hey guys, did you just see the news? Come check this out. Huh? What is it? Breaking news here in Brookhaven. We go live to the president's office for an official president announcement. Good morning, citizens of America. This is your president, Ronald Stump. Today, I have decided to ban TikTok in our country. The kids are doing too much TikToking and not enough studying. We will make learning great again. Wow, Ronald Stump has just banned TikTok. What is Marley Camellio going to do now? This is Laura with Brookhaven News signing off. Phew, thank goodness. I wanted to quit TikTok anyways. This just made it easy. Hey, Trixie, do you think I can move in with you? Of course, sis. Come on, let's go. Yay, let's go. No! Trixie, are you satisfied with the floors yet? Your father and I have been mopping all day. I can't feel my arms anymore. Mm. Nope, you guys can stop when I say stop. But Trixie, please, we've been doing this all day. Do you want to live in my house or not? Sorry, your majesty, we'll get to mopping. Push! Push! I'm pushing! Please be a boy, please be a boy! Congratulations, it's a beautiful baby girl. No, we wanted a boy. Take it back, take it back, please. Uh, it doesn't work like that. We can't just take it back. Well, there has to be a family who wanted a girl that got a boy, right? What if we traded babies? We could trade our little girl for their little boy, then everyone would be happy. Excuse me, sir, but these are children, real human beings. You cannot just trade them. They aren't Pokemon cards. Ugh, fine, I guess we'll keep it. Ah, uh, this is so disappointing. What a waste of an eight months long pregnancy. Uh, all right, uh, anyways, I've never had this happen before where two parents didn't want their newborn. But moving on, what would you like to name her? Oh, no! 
honey, we spent all that time thinking of the best unique name for a boy. We forgot that there was a chance we could have had a daughter. I told you we should have had a gender reveal party, but no, you wanted a surprise. All right, you guys are getting off track. So what's her name? All right, well, we're not letting all those hours of trying to pick a name go to waste. Let's just stick with the name we picked for the son we wanted. Yeah, sure, good idea. We'll name her Bob. Bob? Like, Bob the Builder? Yeah, is there a problem, Doctor? Uh, nope, just, uh, wondering. Oh, you poor little baby. I'm praying for you. All right, can we, like, get out of here now? I hate hospitals. Yes, you guys are all clear to leave. Okay, great. Come on, let's go. Wait, you guys forgot your baby. Oh, right. Honey, can you hold her? Ew, gross. I don't want to touch that thing. Ugh, okay, fine. Give it to me, Doctor. A baby boy would have looked so much better in my arms. <laughs> Ugh, this baby just won't stop crying. What should we do? Here, give it to me. I'll go put it in the shed. If we can't hear it crying, then technically it's not even crying at all, right? Honey, I like the way you think. All right, baby. This should shut you up. In you go. <laughs> ah, much better. Oh my gosh, guys, can we go to the ice cream section? Ugh, go by yourself. Oh, okay, yeah, I I'll just walk over there. <gasps> ice cream! Whoa, look at all the flavors! All right, will that be everything for you guys today? Honey, did we forget anything? Oh yeah, we forgot something. What did we forget? A chocolate bar! All right, guys, have a great day. See ya! Whoa, I'm gonna ask if I can get one. Mom, Dad! Mom, Dad? Where are you guys? Ugh, it looks like they forgot about me again. I guess I'll just have to walk home then. Hey, are you gonna pay for that? Oh, um, my mommy and daddy left me here and I don't have any money. Not my problem and give me that. Oh! Uh. It's mine now. Get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe this happened again. Mom, Dad, you forgot about me at the store again. It's not our fault you left us to get some stupid ice cream. Can you leave us alone now? We're trying to watch a show. Oh, okay. I'll just go to my room then. I'm so excited to have a new baby brother or sister. Bob, come with me. Where are we going? Sorry, but this moment is for family members only. You wait out here, okay? Well, I'll just wait out here then. Ah, you guys again. All right, push! I'm pushing! Ah! It's a boy! Oh, thank goodness! Finally, we have a child that we can actually love! That eight-month pregnancy was worth it for once. Let's name him Kyle. Let me hold my new boy. Mommy and Daddy are going to love you forever and ever. Mama! Wow, what a smart baby! Unlike our pathetic daughter who couldn't speak until she was like two. Come on, let's go home! I can't wait to start our family of three! Wait, wait for me! Wait, you guys forgot about me! <sighs> I have a feeling that I'm gonna get even less attention now. Wait a minute, what are you guys doing in my room? Your room? This is your brother's room now, Bob. But why does a baby need my room? Don't be so unappreciative, you little brat. You're moving into the shed. Here, I packed your stuff. The shed? But that's where all the mice and rats live. Perfect, you'll fit right in. Now take your stuff and go. Now leave us alone, okay? We want to spend time with your brother. Now don't bother us for the rest of the night. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I have to sleep in the shed. I wish I had parents that actually loved me. Get out. Hey, Mom, remember I parented your interviews today after school? Promise you and Dad will come today? Uh, yeah, sure, we'll be there. Promise? You've missed the last five, and my teacher really wants to meet you. If I say promise, will you stop talking? Yes, promise. Okay, fine, then I promise. Yes, I'm so excited for parent-teacher interviews. Maybe if my teacher tells my parents how great of a student I am, then they won't hate me as much anymore, and they won't think I'm useless. Today's gonna be a good day. Hey, Bob, your parents are gonna be there tonight? Yup, she promised she was gonna be there this time. Awesome, I have so many great things to tell them about you. They're gonna be such proud parents. Yay, I really hope so. <laughs> All right, class, I'm so excited to meet your parents today. Go run outside and grab them. Yay, I'm so excited to go see my mom. I can't wait to see how proud they are of me. Mom? Dad? Hmm, 
Maybe they're just running a little bit late. They'll be here. You make me the happiest mom in the whole wide world. Aw, thank you, Mom. You're the bestest mom a girl could ever ask for. Here, I got a present for you. For me? Yes, the teacher says you've been such a great student, and you deserve it. Oh, my gosh, what is it? <gasps> a teddy bear. I love it, Mom. Thank you so much. Come on, let's go home. Maybe after today, my parents will love me just as much as her parents love her. I'll just sit over here and wait for them. Two hours later. Hey, Bob, it's uh, getting late. Are your parents coming? Yes, they promise. They're just running a little bit late. I swear. I know they'll be here. Okay, well, uh, I'll wait for another hour then. But after that, I have to go home. Ugh, come on, Mom. Please pick up. I know you're there. Ah, maybe she's not picking up because she's driving here. Yes, I knew she was coming. One hour later. Hey, Bob, I'm sorry, but I have to go home now. My kids are waiting for me. Uh, maybe your parents just forgot? I mean, it happens. They always forget about me. Ever since they had my little brother, they paid even less attention to me than they used to. I feel so worthless to them. Aw, Bob, that's not true. I'm sure your parents love you. Some parents just show it in different ways. Anyways, come on. It's getting late. Let me drive you home. Okay, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Thank you. Yep, this is the house right here. Have a good night, Bob. Thanks for the ride. Wow. Oh, look at them having so much fun without me. I bet they wouldn't even notice if I disappeared. I feel like I'm such a pain in their butts. Maybe I would be doing them a favor if I just disappeared from their lives. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run away from home. Now I won't be such a burden on everyone's life. <laughs> I guess I'll just take this bus wherever it's going. Where are you heading, little lady? I don't care. Anywhere but here. Hey, Bob, here's your paycheck for the month. I added a little extra of a bonus for you because you've been working so hard. Wow, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you gave me an extra $1,000? I will finally be able to afford Fire Academy now. Thank you. Take the rest of the day off, Bob. You've earned it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi there. Can I please take out all the money in my bank account? Yes, of course. Please go use the ATM over in the corner. All right, let's see how this thing works. So I think I take my card out and put it into the machine slot over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my money. This is so perfect. This is just enough for my Fire Academy. So I finally we have enough money to enroll in the fire academy. Here you go, sir. It's been a dream of mine to become a firefighter for so long. Um, you're a girl. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Girls aren't allowed to become firefighters. But that's not fair. Please just give me a chance. Nope, sorry. My fire hall, my rules. If you don't let her join, then I quit. <gasps> Chris, what? You can't quit. You're a best young firefighter. Yeah, well, you're being very unfair right now. Girls can be just as good and even better firefighters than guys. Give her a chance or I quit. Ugh, fine. Okay, you can join the fire academy. Wow, Chris, thank you. That was so kind of you to stand up for me like that. Of course, anytime. What's your name? Okay, well, don't... Don't laugh, but my parents wanted a boy and they found out they had a girl, but they only thought a boy name, so my name is Bob. Ugh, it's so embarrassing. Oh my god, no way! My real name is Kristen, because my parents wanted a girl, so I just changed my name to Chris. Wow, finally, someone that knows how I feel! I haven't seen my parents in over six years. I ran away when I was 12. Maybe you should go back to see them. I mean, it's been six years. People change. I'm sure they're wondering where you are. They would be so proud to hear that you're gonna be a firefighter now. You know what? You're right. Maybe I should go pay my family a visit. I'm gonna go do that right now. Bye, Chris. I'll see you later. Whew. Okay, here goes nothing. <gasps> Bob? Honey, calm down here. Look who finally decided to crawl back home. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged up. Are you finally running home to mommy and daddy, you unappreciative brat? It only took you six years to realize how selfish you were for running away after everything your father and I have done for you in your life. What do you mean? You guys didn't do anything for me. You guys never remembered my birthday. You never even bought me Christmas presents. You didn't even show up to any of my parent-teacher interviews. All you guys cared about was my brother. How dare you come into our house and insult us? Ugh, this was such a mistake to come here. I just wanted to tell you guys that I got accepted into Fire Academy and now I'm gonna be a firefighter. I'll be saving lives and helping people. I thought for once you guys would finally be proud of me. <laughs> you? A firefighter? 
I would never trust you to save my life during a fire. <laughs> and since when do they let weak little girls become firefighters? <laughs> Out of all the jobs you could have chosen, you chose firefighter. You're so foolish. Uh, I never want to see you guys ever again. Goodbye. Hey, honey, you ready for another day on the job? Yeah, let's head to the station. Well, if it isn't my two best firefighters and my favorite couple as well. Bob, I just wanted to apologize. I'm so sorry that I ever underestimated you. You are the best firefighter I've ever met in my life. Aw, thank you. Well, I forgive you. It's in the past now. <laughs> Huh? What is it? Big fire in Brookhaven? I'll get one of my firefighters on it right away. Bob, are you going to be able to handle this one on your own? Yup, you can count on me. Good luck and stay safe, honey. You got this. All right, I got to get to that fire fast. Wait a minute. This is my parents' house. Someone save us! Please help us! Mom? Dad? Bob, oh, are we ever glad to see you? We've always been so supportive of you becoming a firefighter. Right, honey? Oh, uh, yes, of course. We have uh, just been hard on you because we knew you were capable of so much. Yeah, that's right. What he said. Will you save us, please? You know what, guys? I think you can handle this one on your own. No! I tried my best, but the fire, it was too powerful. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I failed you guys. Oh, no, don't say that. I'm sure you tried your best. Sometimes things like this happen. It's not your fault, Bob. You're still the best firefighter I know. You did that on purpose, didn't you? You could have saved them if you wanted to. Pinky swear it'll be our little secret. Pinky swear. You've been the best mommy I could ever ask for. I love you so much, honey. Your grandparents didn't always give me the best life, so I wanted to make sure you always felt loved and appreciated. I'm so proud to call you my mommy. And I'm so proud to call you my wife. Mommy, are you going to hang out? Your mommy and daddy in heaven? Oh no, honey. My parents aren't in heaven. They're somewhere else. Oh, someone's calling. I wonder who it is. Hello? Hi there. I'm looking to speak to uh, Mackenzie's mom. Yes, this is Mackenzie's mom speaking. This is Mr. Principal calling from the school. Hi, Mr. Principal, ma'am. What's the reason for the call today? I just wanted to call you and inform you that your daughter is failing her math class right now. Were you aware of that? Mackenzie is failing math class? No, I was not aware of that. She's always been a straight-A student. Many of the kids have been failing class is recently. I think it's because there's a new game on Roblox called uh, Brookhaven, and uh, all the kids are just spending hours on it every day. Thank you for letting me know, Mr. Principal. I'm gonna have to have a talk with this girl right now. All right, have a good night. Now, let me see what the hype is around this Brookhaven game. Oh my god, someone just robbed my house! Attention! Mackenzie Grace Turner! What, Mom? I'm playing Roblox right now. Is it that important? Yes, it's important. Can you stop playing that silly game just for one minute. Fine, what? What's up? Guess who I just got off the phone with? Well, I can't read your mind, so you might as well just tell me. Mackenzie, put your phone away and look at me when I'm speaking to you, young lady. Ugh, okay, what? I just got off the phone with your principal. Is there something you want to tell me? Uh, no. How's math class going, huh? Yeah, about that. I can't believe you're failing math class. You've always been good at math. But math is so hard, I can't even understand what the teacher's saying. It's that new game, Brookhaven. All you kids are playing. That's it. Give me your electronics. You are banned from Roblox until you get your grades back up. What? No, you can't do that. I can and I will. Hand over your laptop now. You're the worst mom ever. Sky's mom would never take her laptop away. Why don't you go live with her mom then? Well, at least I still have my phone. I can play Roblox on here. Oh, I almost forgot. Hand over your phone, Missy. Mom, my phone too? That's so not fair. You think I didn't know you could play Roblox on your phone too? I wasn't born yesterday. Now hand it over. Mom, I hate you. <gasps> Mackenzie, how dare you? That's it. You're grounded for one week. Just get out. Ugh, what am I going to do with this girl? My life sucks. I can't even use my phone to talk to my friend. Ugh, I'm just going to go to bed. I hate my mom. I wish I wasn't even born into this family. I wish I wasn't even born into this family. I wish I wasn't even born into this family. Congratulations. It's a beautiful, healthy girl. <gasps> Let me hold her. Wow, she's beautiful. But sadly, I don't think 
am ready to take care of a child. They are just too much responsibility. I understand, ma'am. Adoption is an option. Thank you, Mr. Doctor, sir. I think that is what I'm going to do. I really wish I could keep you, but I know you're going to a better family with a mom who will love you. I would have named you Mackenzie, but I'll let your new mom decide a name for you. Are you sure about your decision? Yes, I am certain. Take her away. Hello, Mr. Doctor. Hello there. How can I help you today? Well, I'm looking to adopt a little girl today. I think I'm finally ready for one. Do you have any in stock? In stock? Ma'am, these are babies, not shoes. Yeah, whatever. Do you have any or not? Uh, let me check my database quickly. Ah, yes, you were in luck. A young mother put her newborn up for adoption today. Fantastic. Where is she? This way. Follow me. Right this way, ma'am. This little girl was born just this morning. Perfect. I'll take it. All right. How much will it cost? Ma'am, this is adoption. It's free. Oh, yeah, right. I knew that. Are you sure you're ready for a child? They're a lot of work. It couldn't be that much harder than taking care of a pet fish, right? Okay, ma'am, here you go. And just to let you know beforehand, in case you didn't know, there are no refunds. Right, yeah, whatever, lol, bye! Hey, mommy, I'm bored. Do you want to come play? Ugh, can't you see I'm in the middle of something? I am playing Dance Dance Revolution. Well, can I play too? Ugh, you're so annoying. Go play by yourself. But I always play by myself. And what's your point? Go do it some more. Ugh, little kids are so annoying. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Lucy Goosey, wave them through. Lucy Goosey, wave them through. I guess I could play with Mr. Squeakers. Hey, mommy, what's for dinner? Well, I'm having chicken. Did you make me some? Uh, was I supposed to? Well, you are my mom. Well, not actually your real mom. Wait, what do you mean? You see, I adopted you five years ago, and I kind of regret it. But the doctor said no refunds, so now I'm stuck with you. Wait, I'm adopted? Kid, look at your hair. It's blonde. Look at mine. It's black. Oh, yeah. Ugh, stop bothering me now. Go make your own food. <laughs> I can't believe I'm adopted. I wonder who my real mom is. I guess I'll just have this leftover can of Coke on the counter. This should keep me full till tomorrow. Hey, Mom, today's the first day of preschool. Preschool? Already? How old are you again? Um, I'm five. Oh, okay, well, then let's go. Oh my gosh, yay, I'm so excited. <gasps> Look, there's friends here. Come on, Mom, let's go. Um, if you think I'm coming in with you, you're out of your mind. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll just go myself. Come on, Sky, let's go. Bye, Mom. Wait, wait, this is so much fun. Come on over here. I love daycare. I wonder what my mom's gonna be here to pick me up. Oh look, there's my mommy. There's my little princess. How was your first day of daycare? It was awesome, mommy. I made a friend, Michaela. Hi, that's me. Hi, Michaela. Is your mom coming to get you? Uh, I think so. She should be here soon. Oh, okay, great. Have a good night. Come on, Sky. Let's go. Mommy made you your favorite dinner. Yippee! Bye. Three hours later. Hmm. Looks like my mom just forgot. You know what? It's okay. I can just walk home. Oh my goodness. It's so wet outside. Uh, I can't remember where I live. It's so snowy out here. I can hardly see. <laughs> then I'm freezing. Mom, what happened? You forgot to pick me up today. Oh, you never asked me to pick you up. Plus, I was busy watching cat videos on YouTube. <laughs> Come on, look at this cat. But mom, I had to walk home in a blizzard. Michaela, you have legs for a reason. Use them. Oh, you're so annoying. Bye. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Oh my God, she's perfect. I'm gonna name you Sarah. I've always wanted my very own daughter. Not an adopted one. Michaela, if you think I didn't pay enough attention to you before, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Hey, Mom, do you think you could drive me to school today? What am I, your servant? Um, no, I just needed a lift. I'm taking Sarah to her first day of preschool today. Yay, Mommy, I'm so excited! Oh, right, okay. Go walk there or something. Sure, okay, uh, see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys, ready for the first day of school? <laughs> guys, look, it's the adopted girl. Oh, my God, <laughs> her real mom didn't even want her. That's so sad. That's not what happened. Yeah. Sure it wasn't. I mean, if you were my kid, I'd put you up for adoption too. <laughs> Good one, Ashley. Hey, I'm so sorry about those two. There's nothing wrong with being adopted. I'm sure your real mom had a great reason for giving you up. Don't let those two get to your head, okay? All right, thanks, Sky. Let's go, Sky. What are you doing talking to that loser? Uh, coming. Gotta go. I'll see you around, Michaela. Hmm, I wonder what my mom packed me for lunch. Oh no, it looks like she didn't pack me anything. 
I think she forgot. <sighs> That's okay. I guess I'll just eat when I go home. Uh, thank God school's over. I'm so hungry. Sky! Mommy! I miss you so much while you were at school today. Come on, let's go get some of your favorite bubblegum ice cream. I love bubblegum ice cream. Uh, I wish my mom cared about me like that. Hey, Mom, how's your guys' in? You're late. Where have you been? These chores aren't gonna do themselves. Ugh, get to work now. Wait, Mommy, am I gonna have to do chores too when I'm Michaela's age? Aw, Sarah, of course not, my princess. Chores are only for bad kids. I'm not a bad kid. LOL, whatever, get to work. Can I just grab a snack first? I am so hungry. I didn't eat anything at lunch today. No food until your chores are done. Ugh, okay, fine. Mommy, I'm hungry. Can I have a snack? Of course you can, princess. Yay! Mommy likes me better than you. Ha! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Only because you're not adopted. Ah, I'm finally done all of my chores. Maybe now I can play Roblox. Whoa, they got a new game called Brookhaven. I gotta get some of this action. Ugh, what are you doing here? Hi, sis. I want to use the computer. Uh, no, this is my computer. I want it right now. Uh, you acting like a brat is not gonna work with me. Okay, fine. Then watch this. Ow! Ow, please stop. Stop, it's hurting me. What the heck are you doing? Stand up. I didn't even touch you. Mom, help me. Ow, ow, ow. Are you joking right now? What in the world is going on in there? <gasps> Wait, Mom, this isn't what it looks like. Michaela punched me really hard and pushed me to the ground. Uh, that's not what happened. She's lying. Oh my God, Sarah, come over here. Mommy will protect you from this evil creature. I'm not an evil creature. She's lying. That's not fair. Ugh, I can't believe you hurt my daughter. I'm gonna hit you. Ow! Oh my God, that hurt. You are worthless and no one cares about you. Adopting you was my biggest mistake ever. Get out of my house right now, you devil child. I never want to see you step foot in this house ever again. I hate this. I hate my life. Now I have nowhere to go and I'm gonna be homeless. I wish I had a mom that actually cared about me. <laughs> Wait, who are you? No, no, no! Oh my God. Wait, what? Was it all just a nightmare? Mom! Oh my god, Mom, it's you! I love you, I love you so much! Uh, what's going on? Please, please never leave me! You can have my iPad, you can have my laptop, you can have my phone! I don't care about any of those things! I just care about you! I'm so sorry I said any of those mean things to you earlier! You're the best mom ever! Uh, I'm not sure what happened to you from the moment I left your room till now, but I'm not gonna complain! Mommy, I just love you! I love you too, sweetie! Hey, how about we go get some ice cream? Yes, let's do it! I love ice cream! Hey, Mom, did I mention I love you? I've got the best mom and dad ever. I love you guys so much. You're the best daughter ever. We couldn't have asked for a better daughter. And I couldn't have asked for a better family. Thanks so much for dinner, guys. I gotta go upstairs and work on my fashion project for school. Uh, this is one of the hardest projects I've ever worked on. Do you need help with your fashion project? Uh, I think I'm okay, mom. You're the best little designer I know. You're gonna get into fashion school for sure. Aw, thanks, mom. It's literally my dream to be a fashion designer. The next mom. Hey, Mom, could you go to the store and get me some fabric for my project? Sure I can. I won't be long. Thanks so much, Mom. You're the best. Oh, this is a perfect fabric store for Mackenzie. Ooh, she would like this fabric. Ooh, she would like this one, too. I can't wait to show her all these new things I got her. Okay, now I've got to hurry home. <laughs> Oh my god, what happened? I'll be there right away. Mackenzie, something bad has happened. Your mom got in a car crash. A car crash? Is she okay? We have to go now. Oh my gosh, okay, let's go. I hope she's all right. Mom, mom, where's my mom? Oh no, mom. Oh no. Mom, hello, hello, can you hear me? Please, mom, tell me you're okay. Mr. Paramedic Man, will my mom be okay? We'll do everything we can to save her. So she'll be okay, right? We cannot promise anything, but we will keep her in our prayers. Mom, I love you so much. I know you will pull through this. I know it. Stay with us, Mom, please. Emergency! I need a doctor ASAP! Mom, please talk to me! Why aren't you talking to me? I have some bad news. What? What's wrong? What happened? Unfortunately, your mom has passed away. We did everything we could to try to bring her back to life, but the injuries were too devastating. I will leave you guys to say your goodbyes. I'm so sorry for your loss. No! I miss you already. <laughs>
I will never forget you. I promise to take care of our daughter. <laughs> Mom, I love you so much. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> you will always be in my heart. Mackenzie, I promise to be the best dad ever. I'll be by your side forever and nothing will get between us. <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Mwah! Well, I'm glad my dad's happy again. It's really nice to see him smile. So, I guess we're sisters now. Yeah, I guess we are. That's gonna be so much fun. I've never had a sister before. I'm glad you two are getting along already. All right, come on, let's head home now. Oh, so you're my new hubby's daughter, I see? Yeah, that's me. Get ready for a whole load of chores. Chores? What, what do you mean? Come on, princess, let's go. Coming, mommy. Oh, those girls seem like really mean. I don't know what their problem is. Maybe they're just having a bad day. Oh, this is my favorite part of the story. Mommy, I want this room. What? You want my room? That is definitely not happening. You're gonna have to find somewhere else. Anything you want, princess. Get off my bed. Hold up. This is my bed. Uh, Dad! What's the problem? Well, she wants my bed, but I've been living here my entire life. Mackenzie isn't leaving my room. Because this is my room. Now, now, Sarah, let me talk to Mackenzie. Oh, honey, you'll work this out, right? Anything to make you and Sarah happy. Mackenzie, what did we say about being nice to our new little sister? Okay, well, she's not really my sister. And I am being nice. I just don't want her to steal my bedroom. Well, you see, this isn't your bedroom anymore. It's Sarah's. But dad! Ha! I win! We all have to make sacrifices in this house now. Well, where am I gonna sleep then? Well, the shed is free. I'm sure the rats would love company. Ew, the shed? I'm sorry, Mackenzie, but there's no other choice. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> this sucks. Oh, and it's raining too. I can't believe I could go in the shed. Okay, this is literally the worst. Where am I even supposed to sleep? <sighs> I just wish my mom was here. I was just pretending to be nice to you so I could marry your dad for his money. Oh, that's terrible. But now that we're together, I don't have to pretend anymore. <laughs> You're the worst. I wish my dad never met you. My daughter is the princess here. When my dad finds out how evil you are, he'll never want to be with you. He will never believe you. He is too head over heels for me. Have fun in the shed. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I'll just be sleeping here for the night. The next day. All right, girls, I'm heading to work now. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye, dad. Love you. Bye, daddy. See you later, honey. Now, Mackenzie, now that your dad is gone, I run this house. Okay, well, this is still my dad's house. And I was living in it way before you. So, I want you to clean the house and do our laundry. And no complaints. Oh my god, this sucks. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Gosh, she's such a Karen. Hey, uh, do you have any laundry? Yeah, it's in my closet. Ugh, <sighs> okay, fine. You know, your dad is in love with my mom. He'll let my mom do anything she wants. And guess what? What? I'm mommy's princess. And I'll always get my way too. Gosh, you guys are both so annoying. I mean, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Well, I hope you have fun living here. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's making me do so much chores. Can you mop any slower? You're like a sloth. Well, I mean, it'd be nice if you did something around here too. Excuse me? Come over here, you little unappreciative brat. I'm gonna hit you. Don't ever talk back to me again. Oh my gosh, she's so evil. I hate living here. Oh, you missed a spot. <laughs> I hate living here. Sarah, come down for lunch. Yes, mommy. So what's Mackenzie making us? What? I have to make lunch too? Hmm, I want steak. Mackenzie, get to cooking right now. Hurry up, we're starving. Okay, I'm coming. You're actually useless. I should convince your dad to put you up for adoption. Mommy, can I have the chocolate bar in the fridge? No, wait, that's mine. That's the last one in the fridge. Of course, Sarah, you can have anything you want. Thanks, Mommy. Two hours later. I'm home, guys. Dad, Dad. Hi, Daddy. Oh, he's not even her dad. Hi, I miss you so so much. The girls have been angels today. We've been getting along so well. That's great to hear. I got us tickets to the movies. Oh my gosh, yay, I love the movies. 
sorry, Mackenzie. I only got three tickets. One for me, Sarah, and your mom. She is not my mom. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't come. Yeah, I told your dad you couldn't come tonight because you have homework, remember? Oh, I guess I could take this time to work on my fashion project, but this is just so unfair. Oh my gosh, this fashion project is the best one I've ever done. Ooh, I'm gonna get an A on this one for sure. Oh, hi. So that outfit you're wearing is way too nice for you. It would look way better on Sarah. My outfit? I am not giving you my outfit. Give it to her now. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, and put this outfit on instead. Oh my gosh, this outfit is so ugly. Oh my God, I can't believe they took my outfit away from me. This outfit looks so much better on me. Oh my gosh, I hate them. Oh, you know what? I need to get out of this place. I've got to work on my application to go to New York Fashion School. Oh, this could be the most important letter I ever write. Okay, send. Okay, it says I should get a letter in the mail in about a week. Oh, I'm so excited. One week later. Mackenzie, where's my coffee? Okay, I'm coming. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, here's your coffee. Now go and lock yourself in the shed for the rest of the day. Today is my day off, and the last thing I want to see around the house is your ugly face. Ugh, okay, at least I don't have to see you all day. Ugh, who could be at the door? Let me go see. Hmm, I don't see... Wait, what is this envelope? Hmm, it says for Mackenzie. Why would anyone want to send her something? Ugh, let me see what it says. Congratulations, Mackenzie. We are pleased to offer you a full ride scholarship to the New York Fashion School. Mackenzie does not deserve to go to New York Fashion School. My daughter, Sarah, deserves to go instead. If Sarah can't go, no one can. Let me just throw this letter away in the garbage. <laughs> Hey, I was supposed to get something in the mail today. Did anything come? Nope, nothing at all. If this is about that stupid university you applied to, just give it up already. Why would they want you? Your style is disgusting. Go mop the floors. Yeah! Oh, she's probably right. I probably didn't even get in. I'm gonna have to stay in this house for the rest of my life. Uh, okay, now let me just finish this new skirt I was working on. What's that you're working on? Oh, I sewed together my own skirt. Do you like it? It's disgusting. Give it to me now. What? No, I've been working on it for so long. Don't make me hit you. Ow! Give it to me. Oh, uh, fine. Here, you can have it. Sarah, I've got you a new skirt. Really, Mommy? Thank you. Uh, oh, my gosh. She's wearing my skirt. I feel like a princess wearing this. I'm never going to be able to get away from these people. <laughs> I wish my real mom was here. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hello? Hi, Mackenzie. I'm just calling on behalf of the New York Fashion School. New York Fashion School? We haven't heard back from you yet regarding your decision. Wait, what? My decision? Yes, we sent out your acceptance letter. You should have received it by now. Wait, what? You did? Oh my God, oh my God. We were very impressed with your application. Wow, thank you so much. We would love for you to come join our program. Yes, yes, I would love to. Would you be able to fly here, say, tomorrow? Oh my gosh, yes. Please, thank you, thank you so much. Great, see you soon. Bye, see you soon. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I'm out of here, guys, I'm free. Where do you think you're going? New York Fashion School, bye. <laughs> I've been cleaning all day long, I'm exhausted. Hello, hello, we're home. Oh, hi guys, how was the pageant? I won first place at the beauty pageants, but what else is new? Oh, Sarah, I'm such a proud mother. You are the best daughter I could ever ask for. You are so awesome that you make up for how useless Mackenzie is. Useless? I've been cleaning the house all day long. I finished all the dishes, I did the laundry, and I mopped the floor. Would it be okay if I went to hang out with Sky now? Uh, did you paint the grass green like I ordered? Paint the grass green? That doesn't even make sense. It's already green. Ugh, you pathetic excuse of a daughter. Can you do anything right? I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. I'm surprised you even have friends. Who would want to be friends with you? Oh. Mommy, I'm hungry. Go make your sister some lunch now. What? Why can't she just make her own lunch? Excuse me? Don't talk back to me. Ow! Oh my gosh, that really hurt. Sarah just won a beauty pageant. What have you done all day, you unappreciative brat? I'm sorry. I've been trying to do my best and clean the house. All right, so after you're done making your sister food, 
here is a long list of chores for you to do. <sighs> All right, okay, I'll start working on some of these. Wait, you want me to clean the bathroom floor with a toothbrush? Why can't I just use a sponge? I threw out all the sponges yesterday, whoopsies. Oh, and you don't mind using your toothbrush, right? Uh, yeah, I guess not, that's no problem. If you finish all those tasks, then sure, you can hang out with your friend. But those tasks should keep you occupied for a couple of days, toodles. Oh my gosh, there's like a hundred things on here. Hey girly, can't wait for you to come over today. Yeah, about that, I don't think I'll be able to come over anymore. My mom gave me another long list of chores to do, and she said I can't hang out with you until I finish them all. Ugh, your mom is such an evil witch. Yeah, but unfortunately, She's all I got. Do you want me to come over and help you? Nah, I don't want to have to put you through this too. No, it's okay. I insist. My parents are watching old videos of me as a baby and it's so boring. I'd rather do chores. Oh, wow. Okay, well, if you want to, then sure. Maybe if we finish early, we can go get some ice cream later. Okay, see you soon, girly. All right, see you soon. I'm taking Sarah out for a girl's night. We're gonna go get our nails done and get some ice cream. Right, Sarah? Yes, mommy, I'm Excited. Oh, do you guys think you could bring me home a scoop? Who do you think I am? Your servant? Go get it yourself. <laughs> Good one, Mom. Let's go. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, what was I thinking? Have fun doing your chores. Bye. All right, Sky, you can come in. Coast is clear now. All right, show me this list of chores we're working with. Look, there's like a hundred things for us to do. Don't worry, girl. We'll get them all done. I'm a master at chores. All right, let's start. Okay, first we gotta mop the floor. Time to vacuum the carpet. I can't believe your mom's making you clean the bathroom floor with a toothbrush. We gotta make the windows spotless. Come on, Sky, we're almost done. Phew, we're finally done. My gosh, I can't believe we finished all those chores. Thanks so much for helping, girly. Anything for my best friend. Let's go for ice cream now. All right, come on, come on, let's go. Cheers to doing no more chores. You can say that again, girly. All right, now let's quickly get back home before my evil mom arrives. Let's go. Whoa, Kent, what does that sign say? I don't know, let's go check it out. Do you have what it takes to be Brookhaven's next beauty pageant queen? The winner gets one million dollars. Uh, nope, that's definitely not for me. Kenzie, this is your chance. If you won a million dollars, you could finally escape that jail you call home. Uh, I'm sure Sarah's already enrolled and she wins every beauty pageant. Plus, just look at me, I'm a mess. I mean, you ain't wrong about the last part, but that's nothing a salon trip won't fix. Come on, girly, you could totally beat Sarah. What's there to lose? Well, if my mom finds out, she's gonna kill me. Well, just don't let her find out until she sees you on stage. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, where do I sign up? I'm glad you asked. Here's a registration form for you to fill out. All right, perfect, I got my name down. Great, and here's a copy for you to take home. Good luck at the pageant. Bye, thank you. Oh my God, Sky, I can't believe we're doing this. Oh my God, it says the pageant in two days. That's it, I'm not going. Don't worry, I'm gonna come over tomorrow and we will practice all day. Uh, are you sure? Yes, of course. The next morning. All right, let's see what I have to, oh. We just entered Sarah for the annual beauty pageant. This year's winner gets one million dollars. Mom, we're gonna be rich. You mean richer. <laughs> right, Mom? Wow, uh, good luck. And we're gonna buy a brand new Lamborghini when we win. Uh, wow, that kind of seems like a waste. Uh, the only thing that's a waste is you. Yeah, you're such a waste of space. Let's go, Mom. I have dance recital. Mackenzie, stay home. I have a brand new list for you to do. I have no idea how you finished all of them, so I gave you triple. Oh, wow. How thoughtful of you, Mom. Yep, I'm the most thoughtful mom ever. Toodles. Let's go, my favorite daughter. <sighs> I have no chance at winning this thing. Kenzie, we got a lot of work to do. So, I've been watching YouTube videos all night, and I think I'm basically a beauty pageant pro now. Hmm, maybe I should just enter instead. <laughs> just kidding, Kenzie. Okay, so what do we do first? Every pageant queen knows that the most important thing is their cat. Catwalk. Catwalk? What's that? You serious, girly? Like walking down the runway. Oh, okay, let me show you. All right, how's this? We need more emotion, girl. Add some waves. Point to the audience. Oh, okay, more emotion. Okay, right. And do some fake laughs. All right, here we go. All right, here's the wave. Yes, that was good. And the point. Yes, I got the point. And here we go, the chuckle. <laughs> and walk back for the finish. All right, how was that? That was amazing. You nailed it. Aw, shucks. Thanks, girly. Okay, what's next? Next, we need to show the judges a skill you have. Do you have any hidden talents? Uh, yeah, I can do the worm. Lucy Goosey, wait. 
weave them through. Lucy Goosey, weave them through. If I was a judge, I'd give you a 10. Yes, we're gonna nail this pageant. Wait, but what about the end question they ask you? Well, you can't really practice for those questions. You just have to answer from the heart. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do my best. I think you're ready for the pageant, girly. Tomorrow's the big day. Tonight might be your last sleep in this house ever. Oh my God, that's so exciting to think about. I will never have to see those two again. All right, I'll be over at 10 a.m. so we can go to the salon and pick out your outfit. All right, sounds good. Oh, I'm so nervous. Meanwhile, Sarah, point your toes. I'm trying, Mom, I really am. Ugh, we'll try harder. Do you want to win or not? If I don't win my $1 million, I'm gonna be so angry. Mom, it's not all about the money. What about having fun? The only fun thing will be me winning $1 million. If you do not win the pageant tomorrow, what are you even good for anymore? Now give me 500 more pirouettes. The next day. Wait a second, what is this doing in Mackenzie's room? A registration for the pageant? That little rascal going behind my back. Ah, uh, Mackenzie! What? What's wrong? Care to tell me what this is that I found in your room? <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm waiting. Um, well, I might have signed up for the beauty pageant. Yes, I can see that. I'm not blind. First of all, you would never beat Sarah. You are the ugly child. And second of all, why would you want to compete against her? Are you trying to ruin this family? I forbid you from participating. What? But mom, please, I've always wanted to win a pageant. I've never won anything in my life. No is no. Do I have to repeat myself? <laughs> ow! Oh, ow! I didn't want to do this, but here is a new list of chores. This should keep you busy for the rest of the day. And if when I come home and one of these items is not completed, I am going to make you live in the shed. Uh, what? There's rats in there. Do I make myself clear, young lady? Yes, mom. Okay, I'll finish the chores. I regret ever having you in the first place. You caused nothing but trouble. Uh, oh, no. Sky, I got bad news. Corel Deville found my registration form. Oh, no. She forbid me from going to the beauty pageant today, and I'm stuck with like a hundred chores. Kenzie, don't worry. You're going to that pageant. What? How? I'll be there in ten. Uh, all right. All right, Sarah, we have a pageant to go in. Have fun doing chores, sis. When I come home, I'm going to be one million dollars richer. And guess what? You can't have any of it. All right, bye. Good luck. Meanwhile. This house right here. Hi, Sky. Your dad told us to come here. Yes, I need you guys to make sure this house is spotless. Yes, we can guarantee that. Come on in, guys. Let's go. <sighs> uh, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Hello, we're here to clean. Uh... Thank God my dad owns a cleaning company. Oh my God, Sky, this is amazing. They'll do all your chores today. Quick, we gotta get ready for the pageant. Oh my God, you're a lifesaver. Let's take the car. They won't mind. Wait, but do you even have your driver's license? Nope, but this is an emergency. Quick, let's go. Let me give you a super cute hairdo. Oh my gosh, I've never had my hair like this before. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Sky, my hair is beautiful. You you look like a whole new person. You gotta ditch those glasses though, girly. My glasses? How am I supposed to see? Ever heard of contacts? Oh, okay. All right, let's do your makeup. <sighs> okay. All done. Take a look, girl. Oh my gosh, Sky, this is amazing. Quick, Kenzie, we gotta get an outfit on. All right, come on, let's go. Whoa, what am I supposed to wear? Put this one on, girly. You're gonna look like a princess. All right, Sky, how does this look? Whoa, you look like a winner to me. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Meanwhile. And the winner of the Brookhaven Beauty Pageant is... Hold on, wait, stop. Uh, who are you? Mackenzie is here, the last contestant. Ah, uh, yes, Mackenzie, your name is on the list. Mackenzie, what are you doing here? If you don't go back home right now, I'm going to... Ma'am, please take a seat before I call security. Ugh. All right, Mackenzie, go backstage and get ready. Oh my gosh, this is my shot. If you think you're going to beat me, you're dreaming. Ignore her, Mackenzie. You got this. Remember what we practiced. Wave, point, and laugh. Thanks, guy. You're the best. Yeah, girl, you got this. Strut your stuff, Mackenzie. You are the best beauty queen I know. Good with the chuckles. I love it. Show them those emotions. Lucy Goosey, weave them through. Lucy Goosey, weave them through. That's perfect. Exactly what we practiced. You're nailing it. Whoa, where'd you learn that backflip? What the heck? Oh my goodness, good job, girl, you killed it! Wow, 
Wow, that was incredible. I don't know who to vote for. I think we need sudden death. All right, we'll ask each of them a question. Genius. After further discussion, it is too hard to pick a winner. We will ask each of you one question. Oh no, the question. And our favorite answer will win. Sarah, you're up first. Sarah, what would you do with the money if you won? Just as we practice, Sarah. Um, is this a trick question? Because like, the answer is obvious. I would go to the Gucci store and buy everything there. Then I would buy a pink Lamborghini. Uh, what about donations? Charities? Um, the only donating I'll be doing is donating to my own piggy bank. <laughs> yes, you killed it, girl! Alright, thank you for your answer. Mackenzie, you're up next. Try to be that, sis. Alright, Mackenzie, what would you do if you won the money? Well, if I won the money, first I would set some aside for my college education. Next, I would give some money to my best friend, Sky, Because without her, I wouldn't even be here. Yes, that's me! I'm the best friend! And finally, I would donate the rest of the money to my favorite charity. <laughs> my heart cannot take this. <laughs> the wholesomeness. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Well, I think we know who the winner is today. She's lying. She would not do any of those things she said. That girl is a fraud, a fake, a phony. Mackenzie, if you don't get off that stage right now. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave immediately. Ugh, you will be punished, Mackenzie. Mommy, wait for me. Congratulations, Mackenzie. You are the winner of the Brookhaven pageant. Here is one million dollars. Oh, and here's your crown. This crown is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. This has been a dream of mine ever since I was a little girl to win a beauty pageant. And now my dream is reality. Yes, Kenzie, you deserve this. Come on, Sky. Let's get out of here. Mama is moving out. Yes, girl. Let's get out of here. Later, losers. I am moving out. <laughs> Come on, girl. Get back here! Where do you think you're going? I don't want to do chores. <laughs> oh, honey, what a beautiful day to spend at the beach. I just love spending time with my family. Wah, wah. Did you guys hear that? Uh, hear what? I could have swore I just heard a baby crying. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I hear it too, Mom. Oh my God, honey, look! There's a baby in the ocean. Oh my gosh! I'll go save her. <laughs> I got you, little girl! Whoa, is she dead? Can I poke it? No, Sarah, you cannot poke it. Oh, uh, you never let me do anything! I wonder whose child this is. Wait a second. I remember hearing on the news today that a ship crashed a sea in England. Do you think this baby could be from the ship? Whoa, she must be from the ship. Well, we should probably take her to child services so she can be reunited with her parents. Or we could keep her. Wait, what? I want all the attention for myself. Hmm, are you sure? Wouldn't that be kidnapping? Kidnapping? No, this is adoption. Plus, you've always wanted to adopt a child, haven't you? Yeah, I guess you're right. Perfect, and we can turn this little girl into our maid. Huh? Oh, uh, I meant to say uh, this little girl will be a part of our beautiful family. <laughs> Don't worry, Sarah. Mommy will still give you all the attention. And guess what? You won't have to do chores because now your sister will do all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yay, 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 yay! I love my new sister! Yay! Okay, let's go home. Our new daughter is freezing. Welcome to your new home. I'm so excited to have a new daughter. This was such a good decision. I'm gonna treat you as if you were my own. So, what should we name her? Hmm, Mackenzie? I like it! Mackenzie, welcome home. Hi! Whoa, where am I? What happened? Oh, you were lost at sea, and we saved you. Do you remember anything about your old family? Um, no, I don't remember anything. Oh, well, it's okay. You have a new family now. All right, wife, I'm gonna go get some sleep now. Take care of our daughters for us. Hi, Mommy. All right, shut it, little brat, and don't call me Mommy. Go in here and stay put. Ow! Ha! Have fun in your little cage. You're our new little pet, right, Mommy? You got it, my number one daughter. Ugh, I wish this thing was just old enough to do chores already. Chores? <laughs> stop crying and shut it. Ugh, if you don't stop crying, I'm gonna have to wear headphones. And that's gonna ruin my hair. Oh, okay. Come on, Sarah. Let's go eat some food. You must be starving. Yay, I'm so hungry. Wait, can I have a snack? Oh, right. Ugh, we have to feed you. Ugh. Here's a slice of three-day-old pizza. <laughs> I hope you like cheese. But I'm lactose 
intolerant. Ugh, deal with it. Girls, it's time for school. Sarah, I made you your favorite waffles for breakfast. Wow, thanks, Mom. You're the best. Hey, uh, did you make me anything for breakfast? Oh, no. Whoops, I totally forgot. Silly me. <laughs> I guess you're gonna have to starve. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you wearing, Mackenzie? Oh, this is just a new outfit I bought at the store. Um, you cannot be dressing nicer than Sarah on the first day of school. You cannot outshine my favorite daughter. Mommy, can I wear her outfit? I would look better in it. Of course you can, Sarah. What? Mackenzie, go upstairs right now and put something else on. And make sure it fits your ugly aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go to school? Uh, where's Mackenzie? Oh, uh, Mackenzie actually got a ride to school with a friend already today. So you just have to take her little Sarah to school. Oh, okay. Come on, Sarah. Let's go. Coming. All right, I'm all changed. Uh, we can go now. Wait, where is everyone? I told your dad you got a ride from a friend to teach you a lesson. What? How am I supposed to get to school now? Uh, you have legs, right? Use them, you little brat. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late on my first day of school. I can't believe they left without me and now I'm gonna be late on my very first day of school. Oh no, 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 I think class is already in session. Look who decided to show up. Hi, I'm so sorry I'm late. Showing up late on the first day of class? Class? Uh, I can already tell that you're gonna be trouble. Why can't all my students be as great as Sarah? I don't know. I'm just the best. Oh, thank God class is over. Guys, this is my loser sister, Mackenzie. She was adopted, and guess what? Her old mom threw her off a boat because she didn't even want her. And my mommy wanted to adopt her because she wanted a new maid for the house. That's not what happened. Ew, Mackenzie, you look like something I would draw with my left hand. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Good one, Ashley. <laughs> See you at home, loser. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> hey, girly. Sorry for those two. I only hang out with them because I don't have other friends at the school. But, like, maybe you would want to be friends? Friends? Yeah, I could use a friend. Everything they said back there about my mom, it's all a lie. I just know I have a family out there that loves me. And I know that they're searching for me. I can just feel it. It's okay, Mackenzie. You have me now. I'll always be there for you. Aw, thanks, Skye. Come on, let's walk home together. Sure, okay, come on, let's go. Okay, this is my house right here. Gotta go now. Wait, what? What? We're neighbors? This is my house right here. Oh my gosh, you live next door? Did we just become BFFs? <laughs> I think so. Yay, yay, yay. All right, bye. See you later. Meanwhile, Charles, I know my daughter is out there somewhere. My queen, I promise we will find her no matter what. Where's our next stop, Charles? We will be arriving in Brookhaven in 10 minutes, your majesty. I don't know what it is, but I have a good feeling about Brookhaven. I think my daughter just might be here. Ooh, I love this next part of the movie. Ooh, me too. Huh? Why did it stop right before the best part? Looks like breaking news, honey. <laughs> Just in breaking news, we have received news that the Queen of England has arrived in Brookhaven. Let's go to my colleague Rachel live at the scene. Oh my goodness, the rumors are true. The Queen of England has arrived in Brookhaven. What could she possibly be doing here? Step aside, everyone. The Queen has arrived. Hello, Brookhaven. It is I, the Queen. Your Majesty, it is truly an honor to be standing beside you today. The audience wants to know, what could you possibly be doing here in Brookhaven? I have reason to believe my daughter is somewhere in this town. Ten years ago, a ship we were sailing on crashed. My daughter and I have been separated ever since. After many years of research by my team of scientists back in England, they believe that the current of the ocean on that night may have brought my daughter to Brookhaven. My daughter should be ten years old right now with naturally blonde hair and blue eyes. If you believe that you may be in possession of my long-lost daughter and princess of England, I will be living in the castle on the top of the hill. You may find me there. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. If you believe you are a long-lost princess, the queen would like a word with you. Back to you, Laura, at the studio. Wow! A princess living right here amongst us? This is incredible. I wonder who the lucky girl is. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Oh my gosh, it all makes sense now. Our little daughter Mackenzie, could it be? 
Is she the princess? Oh, uh, wow, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? We have to bring Mackenzie back to the queen. It's the right thing to do. And maybe we could even get a picture in return for her efforts. Wow, you are so right, honey. A picture with the queen in return for the past 10 years of taking care of Mackenzie. How could I ever pass up that? Uh, you go get the car running, okay? I've uh, got to go grab something upstairs. Yes, of course. I'll go get the car up and running. That idiot just wants to hand over the princess just like that? What would we even get out of that? I have a better plan. I will turn Sarah into the princess and hand her in. Then I'll be rich. But first, I've got to get rid of my idiot husband. Now, where did I put that thing? Ah, I found it. Hey, hubby. Oh, hey, there you are. Come on, let's... Why? Why did you do this to me? Because you stood in the way of me being rich. You just wanted to hand over Mackenzie to the queen? Did you even think for a second we can turn our daughter Sarah into a princess instead? Anyways, you're no use to me now. Goodbye. Ew, how did you get home so fast? Oh, shush, Sarah. Have fun doing chores all night. <laughs> oh, hey, Mom. Uh, where's Dad? Oh, uh, Dad had to go leave on a business trip. He'll be gone for a very, very long time. Oh, well, that sucks. Anyway, Sarah, let's go. I have a surprise for you. Okay, bye. Mom, what's happening? Where are you taking me? Sarah, honey, the Queen of England is here looking for her long-lost daughter. Your father and I think your stupid adopted sister is who she's looking for. But I'm gonna take you to the salon right now to make sure you look like her daughter. We will trick the Queen into thinking you are her daughter, then we will be rich. All right, honey, we must dye your hair blonde. This is perfect. You're gonna look exactly like a princess. Wow, Mommy, I love it. You look great. Let's go. Get over here, Mackenzie. What? What's up? Sarah and I are going out tonight. I am locking you in your room. You're grounded for a week. A week? What did I do? Also, why does Sarah have blonde hair now? Uh, shut your mouth and come with me. You'll stay in this room until we come back. Understood? Uh, yeah, whatever. Good. We have somewhere to be now. Goodbye. Oh, this sucks. I can't believe she locked me in here. I guess I'll just do nothing for the rest of the night. Mackenzie! What was that? Mackenzie, over here. Come outside. Wait, Sky? Sky, what are you doing? Mackenzie, have you seen the news? The news? No, I'm grounded. The Queen of England is in town looking for her long lost daughter. I get this next part. Her daughter was lost in a shipwreck. Ten years ago! Weren't you missing in a shipwreck too? Oh my gosh, are you saying I might be a princess? I'm saying you are the princess! Wait, this might be why my mom is acting so strange and that my sister has blonde hair. I think they're trying to trick the queen that Sarah is her long lost daughter! Oh my god, that is not happening on my watch! Come on, let's go! We need to get to the queen's castle! I can't, Sky. My evil mom locked me up here! Come on, just jump into my hot tub! You can do it! Oh my god, that's a really far jump! Here goes nothing! Ah! Ouch, that one hurt! You made it! Okay, quick, let's go! Now remember what we practiced. We're here, honey. You are not my daughter, okay? Yes, you found me washed up at shore. Got it. Hello there. Hi, we are here to speak to the queen. I believe I have someone she would love to reunite with. Very well then, follow me. Your majesty, we have some guests here. Thank you, Charles. Please give us some privacy. Hello, your majesty. Majesty, it's an honor to be here. This is Sarah. I found her washed up at shore about 10 years ago. I have taken such good care of her in hopes one day she'll find her real mom. I had no idea she was a long lost princess. Diana, is that really you? Hi, Mrs. I mean, mom. Yes, it's me, Diana. I miss you so much. When the ship crashed, I lost my memory. But it's all starting to come back to me now. Come on, it's at the top of this hill. Oh my gosh, Diana. It is you. Your blonde hair and everything. Thank you so much for taking care of Diana for the past 10 years. How will I ever repay you? Ah, I know. Charles, go grab the bag of money from upstairs, please. Here, your majesty. Stop what you're doing right now. Uh, who are you? That is not your daughter. <gasps> How dare you? Who do you think you are telling me who my daughter is? I have proof. You said your daughter has blue eyes. Look into the eyes of the girl standing in front of you. <gasps> you are right. This is not my daughter. Well, if this isn't my daughter, then who is? Hi, mom. Diana? Wow, your eyes are as blue as the ocean. Just 
just like I remembered. It is really you. All right, Sarah, that's our cue to leave. This wasn't supposed to happen. Curse you, Mackenzie. It's Princess Diana to you. Charles, stop those imposters. Yes, your majesty. Mom, I miss you so much. I knew you would come looking for me. I can't believe we're finally reunited again. Here, put this outfit on. It's time for you to be a princess again. Oh my, a princess outfit? Well, you are a princess. Oh my goodness, I've never felt so important. You look dazzling. Is there anything I can do for you, my daughter? Well, there is one thing. Yes, anything for you. So this is my best friend, Skye, and I was thinking we could make her an honorary princess because without her, I don't think we would be reunited today. Skye, what a wonderful name. How would you like to be a princess? Me? A princess? Pinch me. I must be dreaming. I would love to. <laughs> Mom, I'm tired of this life. I just want to be a normal kid for once. Henry, you sound so foolish right now. Do you know how many kids in this world would love to be a prince like you? Ugh, Mom, you just don't understand. I want to experience life like everyone else. I want to find my own girlfriend. Henry, we already have a princess lined up for you to marry. Hi, Henry. <laughs> Mother, I do not want an arranged marriage. I want to fall in love like they do in the movies. <gasps> Why would you want such a thing? You'll never understand, Mother. <sighs> Whatever. I have already made my decision and there is nothing you can do to change it. I'm going back to Brookhaven to finally be a normal kid. Oh, Henry, you are so stubborn. All right, fine, but you have to bring Charles with you. I can't just have you walking the streets alone. Charles! At your service, madame. Please escort Henry to Brookhaven. He is trying to find this silly thing called love. Mom, it's not silly. Of course, madame. I will make sure he is well taken care of. Very well, then. Run along. Smell you later, mother. Prince Henry, we have arrived. Wow, that was a long flight. I need some ice cream. They have the best ice cream store here. Very well, then. Let's go. Meanwhile. Hey, what can I get for you today? Hey there, can I? I was get a scoop of bubblegum ice cream. Of course, that will be one dollar, please. Sure, here you go. One scoop of bubblegum coming right up. Here you go. Thanks so much. Have a great day. <gasps> wow, that hurt. Oh, no, I am terribly sorry. Let me help you up. Oh, uh, hi. Whoa, you smell like rainbows and unicorns. Oh, it's just my dollar store perfume. I am terribly sorry about your ice cream cone. Can I get you another one? Wow, yeah, sure. That would be awesome. What uh, flavor was your ice cream you had? Bubblegum. It's literally my favorite. Whoa. Oh, me too. They have the best bubblegum ice cream here. I couldn't imagine anyone getting any other flavor, especially mint chocolate chip. <sighs> Whoa, I totally feel that. Mint chocolate chip is the worst. Stay right here. I'll be back with your ice cream. Whoa, he's so cute. Ugh, who's calling me? Oh no, it's my evil stepmom. Mackenzie, where are you? You were supposed to be home 30 minutes ago. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I got caught up in something. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'll be home right away. This is unexpected. Acceptable, you will be punished. Hey, here's your... Huh? Where'd she go? Oh, darn it, Henry. You forgot to ask for her name. Wait, what's this? <gasps> she dropped her ID card. No, but there's no name on it. Just a picture of her. Her beautiful face. Uh, what am I gonna do with just her photo? Henry, what seems to be the problem? I just ran into this girl. I felt an instant connection. However, she ran off before I could ask for her name. All I have is this ID card with her photo on it. What good is this if I don't even know her name? I'll never be able to find her again. Ugh. Henry, sir, I think I have an idea. What? What is it? We will go to the media, telling them you're looking to return this card to its rightful owner. That way, you and her can meet again. Charles, you're a genius. This is why my mother pays you the big bucks. To the media, we go. Hi, sorry, mom, I'm late. Apology not accepted. You think the chores are just gonna do themselves? Um, no, mom, I'm sorry. I'll do them right now. Please don't hit me. Don't ever come home late ever again. Do you understand? Yes, yes, mom, I'm so sorry. Now go get changed changed and get to work. Okay, yes, right away. Oh my god, that boy I saw today was so cute. I wish I got his phone number or even asked him for his name. <sighs> Why does it matter? He probably wouldn't like me for who I am anyways. Okay, little 
Sarah. Mom is just going to go see what's on the news tonight. Ugh, fine, Mom. I hate the news. Can we watch something else after? Of course, Sarah. I'll be quick. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The weather tonight in Brookhaven is cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms. Traffic is looking good except for one minor collision. Stop, I have an important announcement to make. Well, in a crazy turn of events, Prince Harry has stormed the set. It appears he has something to say. Uh, take it away, Henry. I am looking for the rightful owner of this ID card. It was left behind at the ice cream store today. And I would like to meet you again and formally ask you on a date. Huh? Mom, that was Mackenzie. Why would the prince want to ask Mackenzie on a date? Don't worry, Sarah. I will not allow that disgrace of a human being to ever be with the prince. If anyone deserves to be with the prince, it's you, Sarah. I have an idea, so don't worry. Hey, guys, what's all the commotion going on over here? Did I say you could come over here? Go upstairs and clean my toilet. <sighs> okay, my bad. If this ID belongs to you, please meet me at the movie theater tomorrow at 12 p.m. All right, back to you, Laura. Uh, all right, well, that was weird. Uh, this this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. We cannot let Mackenzie find out about this. Don't worry, honey. She won't. She'll be too busy doing chores. Tomorrow, we will give you a makeover so you look exactly like Mackenzie. You will go to the theater at 12 o'clock to meet the prince. And he will fall in love with you. Then you will inherit the royal family's fortune. Yay! I've always wanted to be a princess. The next day. Mackenzie! Yes, mother, what is it? Here is a long list of chores for you to do while Sarah and I are gone today. Oh, where are you guys going? Ugh, do you have to be this nosy? It's none of your business. Oh, all right, sorry for asking. Yeah, you should be sorry. Now take this list and start on the chores. Okay, I'll start on the list right away. Have fun! Ugh, this sucks. I'm always stuck at home doing chores. Let's go, Sarah. We have a lot of work to do. Coming, Mom! I need you to make my daughter look exactly like this girl. All right, let me take a look. Perfect. Come right this way. Yay, makeover time. All right, how's this? Let me see. <gasps> this is perfect. Come on, Sarah. We have a prince's heart to capture. Coming, Mom. Meanwhile. Hmm, who's calling me? Hello? Oh, my God, Mackenzie. Did you see the news? The prince of England is looking for you. Huh? What do you mean? Why would he be looking for me? Apparently. You two met at the ice cream store yesterday and you dropped your ID and he found it. Wait, that was the prince? No way. Yeah, and he said on the news he wanted to ask you out on a date. Well, where am I supposed to go to see him? He said to meet him at the movie theater at 12 p.m. today, so hurry up. Oh my God, girl, you have to come with me. Oh, Kenzie, I wish I could come support my BFF, but I have to babysit today. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. You got this though, girly. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I can't believe he's looking for me. Whew, all right, here goes nothing. All right, Prince, here I come. Huh? Why does everyone look like me? Another imposter? Okay, what's going on here? Mackenzie, what are you doing here? Mom gave you a list of chores to do. Sarah? Ugh, I should have known you and Mom were up to something. Well, duh. You think we could just let you have the Prince that easily? I'm gonna be with the Prince, and there's nothing you can do about it. Wait, what? No, I'm gonna be with him. Huh? look like me, but he'll know it's actually me. Whoa, 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 what is going on? My prince! Well, I uh, certainly did not expect this to happen. You guys all look like the girl I'm looking for. However, the one that I'm looking for has a particular scent to her. It was a smell unlike anything I've ever smelled before. Something like rainbows and unicorns. Please line up and I'll smell each one of you to see who is the real one I'm looking for. Oh my god, Mackenzie, out of all of the days you chose not to wear that perfume, why did you have to pick today? Mom, emergency. I need you to go into Mackenzie's room and steal her perfume. I'll be back soon to get it. And no matter what, do not let Mackenzie have it. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm getting to that perfume first. Oh, no, you're not. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, my gosh, where's my perfume? Looking for this, Mackenzie? Yes, mom, I'm looking for that. Well, too bad because you can't have it. Sarah, take it quickly. Thanks, mom. Hey, give me that. You're coming with me, Mackenzie. Stop, let go of me. You can't do this to me. I'm 
locking you in the garage. The prince will fall in love with Sarah, and there's nothing you can do about it. No, let me out! Hello, help! All right, let's begin. It is I you are looking for. Oh gosh, when was the last time you showered? It is certainly not you. Hi, my prince. Are you wearing men's cologne? Next! So, like, what are we naming our kids? You smell like you just rolled around in poop for three hours. Disgusting! <laughs> Hello, Prince Harry. It is I you are looking for. It's nice seeing you again, my prince. <gasps> Rainbows and unicorns! That smell! You are the one! What is your name? My name is Sarah. What a lovely name for a lovely princess to be. We should go celebrate where we first met. You rushed away so quickly. I still owe you an ice cream cone. Oh, right, of course, ice cream. Yeah, let's go! Ah, uh, amazing! My butler will take us there. Come on! Sarah, ladies first! Oh, okay, yes, of course! Can I get a mint chocolate chip ice cream? Ha ha ha! Funny joke, Sarah. Come on, what flavor do you actually want? Oh, ha ha ha! I knew you'd get a laugh out of that one. <laughs> of course I wouldn't want mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Can I get a vanilla cone instead? Wait a second, Sarah. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, my favorite ice cream flavor? That's easy. It's, uh, chocolate. Oh no, I feel so foolish. I have been bamboozled. You are an imposter. You cannot be the one I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for loves bubblegum ice cream. Haha, <laughs> I was just teasing you. I do like bubblegum ice cream. I was just testing you to see how well you know me. Please leave immediately. Uh, I'm too good for you anyways. <laughs> oh, Henry, what is wrong? She was not the one, Charles. I was lied to. The real one is still out there somewhere. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to wait in the ice cream store until she comes back. Charles, you may go home and get some rest. I don't know how long it will be. That's very noble of you, sir. Good luck. I will be here as long as I need to for her to show up. One eternity later. I refuse to leave until I find her. Oh, I can really do for some ice cream right now. Oh my gosh, could that be? Hi there, can I please have bubblegum ice cream? Bubblegum, it is her! I finally found her! Excuse me, I believe this belongs to you. <gasps> Henry? What, what are you doing here? I've been here waiting for you. Here, this ice cream's on me.